And it's tea time tip time. I asked my very special guest, Dana Smithers, to join me and uh, talk about gratitude and the law of attraction and, and how we can infuse more gratitude into our business and really take advantage of the law of attraction rules that are in the universe that will really help us escalate our, the success of our business. Thank you for coming back and joining us for this episode of Tea Time Tip, uh, marketing for business entrepreneurs. And even though gratitude and the law of attraction isn't specifically to do with marketing, it has a lot to do with the success of your business. And if you are skeptical of that idea, you must stay tuned and stick around for today's show because that's exactly what Dana is going to be explaining. Now, Dana is a law of attraction and gratitude expert, and uh, she's the one who can help us clear the air as far as just exactly why is gratitude so important and how. Like She's going to share with us some great tips and strategies on how gratitude can be more easily infused into your business so that uh, you can really reap the rewards of um of that gratitude uh you know having this conversation at the beginning of the of the new year the beginning of the new decade is yeah. really valuable too it really sets us off on the new year in a fantastic way of positivity and a way to um you know just set the intention for the whole year that gratitude can be infused in our business. And so I'm, I'm really looking forward to having this conversation with you. I want to ask our audience, what are you grateful for, for who is on the show today? Uh, and even if you're watching this in the replay mode, type in the comment section, what are you grateful for in terms of your business? And, and even if you are feeling like you're in a bit of a slump right now and things aren't going all that well, um, we're going to talk a lot about that in, in coming up soon. And you especially need to be on the show if that's the case for you today. If you're feeling like, you know, the, the doldrums of January and things aren't going that well in your business. So stay tuned because this show is perfect for you. Uh, but even if that's the feeling or if you are high up on the top of a mountain in uh, and rejoicing success, share with us, share some gratitude, share some uh, positive notes, and we would love to hear uh, from you. So Dana, I think a perfect place to start is the scientific part about the law of attraction and gratitude, because, you know, it, it can be thought of as the woo-woo stuff. And, and you know, it's it's been, it, it's kind of science now. So why don't you share with us uh, the new information that you found? With the law of attraction, there's a definition that says, I attract to my life whatever I put my attention, energy, or focus on, whether positive or negative. So when you're in a happy place, you're naturally going to attract more happy things. And when you're in a negative place, well, I'm sorry, law of attraction is very obedient. It operates 24-7, 365, whether you have set any intention or whether you are even aware of it or even if you want to admit it, it's there. So the scientific part comes in this way. Um, this is one of uh, David Hawkins, I can show this, uh, developed this map of consciousness. Um, he's no longer with us on this plane, but there are a lot of YouTube videos that you can watch. He was an expert in muscle testing and kinesiology. So what he did is he created this chart, and I'll do it this way. So at the bottom, when you're feeling um, these emotions up to courage, you're kind of in a dark place. You're in the doldrum, shame, grief, apathy, fear, anger, pride. When, once you get to courage, then the energy that's in your body switches from negative to positive. And I did more research on this because I've talked about gratitude for years. But if you look at this, um, the, the, the way the number that's resonating is not the important thing. Where it is is where what's important to me is where it shows up here. So gratitude has a vibration. So these are all vibrational frequencies and they were measured electronically. You can look it up on YouTube. There's lots of videos, but uh, gratitude is above love and just before joy. So when you are feeling grateful, it says there you feel serene, serenity, you feel more complete. 
so when you're in that space, and if you think about what I just said about the law of attraction, you are naturally going to attract more of that. So Sue, we're talking about business here, right? So yeah. with clients, I mean, all of us entrepreneurs, you know, I've been an entrepreneur since 2004, which I never thought I would be or whatever, but I was. And, you know, I contribute my success of my three businesses to um, the law of attraction, but also the gratitude every day. What am I grateful for? And if I can't, you know, if I've got that client from, you know, not so nice client, right? Someone that's just, oh my goodness, I'm going into such a negative place. I can just stop what I'm doing. I do what I call reset my vibe so that I can just say, you know what, maybe that's not the best client for me because you can't have a new client come in if you're still holding on to old clients that aren't serving you well and you're not happy about working with them. So that's where you have to get rid of the fear and just be open and just say, all right, thank you. Great learning lesson because every single thing, you know, regardless of, of what's going on in the world and there's lots of turmoil going on, there's so many things that we can still be grateful for. And that's, you know, because I practiced and taught this for so long, I mean, it's kind of like I, you know, eat, breathe and sleep gratitude. Um, it, it's just a part of me. It's second nature. Yeah. And that's, that's something that's really important to explore, you know, why gratitude is so fundamental in business success. And, and you touched on something that I think every entrepreneur on earth has experienced where something disappointing has happened uh, or, you know, a bad client came our way. Uh, they didn't pay their bill. They're just more hassle than what they're worth. Whatever the reasons are when the phone rings and you see their name on the call display, you, sh you know, you shudder. It's <laughs> fine that that's a bad client. And so let's, let's take those learning lessons, right? And, and explain Dan a little bit more about why gratitude is fundamental to the business success, how can we turn that around and and make the that a success, even though it feels like in the moment it's the worst thing that could have ever happened? Like maybe you lost a a major major client, and now your you know your cash flow is gone and and uh, looking at devastation. Yeah, and I, I think we've all faced that, right? I mean, right. You, can't, you can't be in this business without that. So it's a matter of taking a look at what's going on, and you know, and stepping back from it and saying, all right, what are the good things? that I learned from this situation. What are the things I'll never do again? And this often comes in, part of this is trusting our intuition, mm. right? Because that's a big that's a big vibration that we have. In fact, I'll just go over this little um, law of attraction, how we get the results that we do. It's a formula. So when you look at it, it's your words that form the thoughts. And then the vibes, those are your feelings, right? So how you're feeling about it gives you the result. And if you just keep complaining and complaining and, oh, that's a lousy client, they didn't pay, hello, congratulations, right? <laughs> you're going to get more of that. <laughs> so you, you consciously have to stop. And I like to say, okay, what's something I like about it? And I sometimes say to people, you know what, if the, the best – even if you're in a meeting with someone, right, and they're just, you know, rubbing you the wrong way or you're not getting to where you want to go, I just say, you know what, find one thing. Do you like the hair? Do you like their socks? I don't care. Right. Find something to like. And once you do, because this is how what happens, right, your energy goes up. And yeah. once your energy goes up, you reset your vibration and maybe the things that were irritating you no longer are. But you have to be very conscious and it's up to you. Because as I said, law of attraction, 24-7, 365, to change that vibration and just think of something good. Be grateful for something about the situation or the client. And once you've done that and you've made peace with that, that just opens up the door for infinite possibilities. Yeah, that's so true. And I think there's something really important to mention here, because maybe this is part of the reason why uh, gratitude and law of attraction got the woo woo moniker is that, uh, you know, and I think this even came out when the, the movie The Secret came out and everybody was just thinking, oh, all I have to do is think it and it'll happen. And if I think I have perfect 2020 vision, it'll just miraculously happen. But that's not the case, right? What's the missing ingredient? It's It's not just thinking it, but it's We've got to take the action, right? Yeah. We've got to figure out, 
what it is. And, you know, Sue, you and I have been entrepreneurs for long enough to know that it's just what you said. We can have the best thoughts. Okay, I've done my marketing. I've done all that. Oh, but I really don't like sales calls, so I'm not going to pick up the phone. I'm not going to call anyone. And, gee, I'll just sit and wait and see who phones me. Well, yeah, wait for the universe to come in and uh, shower new clients on me. However, yeah. once you start shifting that energy and you get a little bit of momentum and you make that first sales call and then it's like, it was pretty good. All right, now you're going to make another one. And so you've got the energy going. And after each one, you just say, thank you, thank you, thank you. And even if it's not the, the perfect fit, again, it's infinite possibility. So you're opening up that space mm -hmm. when you express that gratitude to bring something in that you're grateful for. And the, the universe is very cooperative. The universe is full of abundance. Yeah. And it's, it's infinitely abundant. And when you are expressing that, the gratitude for it, rather than, oh, poor me, or, I, or she, she or he gets all the good clients, or, you know, I, I can't afford to spend what they do. Well, you know, okay, fine. All right. Well, sorry, you're going to get the type of client that doesn't want to pay on time. Um, that isn't a good client that doesn't show up on time. And that's a game where you have to stop and you have to express that gratitude for what you do have and move along and attract something that's more within your wheelhouse and more within your values, because that's so important in business. And you have to really believe it too, right? You know, it's the, the thoughts and the action and the belief, like the emotional component has to be a part of it in order for the energies to rise up in that chart that you were showing, right? Yeah, because if you if you don't believe something is possible, the universe is very cooperative and it will you will not manifest it, right? Yeah. And actually, I'll give you a little equation. Um, and it goes like this. If you have a strong desire, let's say you're, desire will give it a 10 like oh yeah I really 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 want to attract a new client but your belief system is that well you know I haven't been very successful lady lately so let's say that's a, th uh, a seven like you really don't believe it well you get a three it's not going to happen so it doesn't mean that you could, that you just have to have a strong desire for something to happen and this is why a lot of people just don't get why they don't win the lottery <laughs> It's not just about the strong desire. I mean, that's that is a whole other thing going on there. But you can have a strong, the strongest desire. But if you do not have the belief, if your belief is below a five or lower, you're not going to manifest or you might manifest some weak um, manifestation that's kind of what you wanted, but maybe not. And again, if you do, you start getting things that are not exactly what you want then just say thank you that's great let's and i i just always say next 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 i'm ready next yeah. that was awesome not the, exactly the fit i'm looking for but next and thank you yeah yeah that's perfect uh you know uh, there was something that i should have mentioned this earlier but i think it, it this is a good time to mention it one thing that that i have done for several years and um uh, and i know that you have a book to help with this too is is that the, to help with that you know, the, the momentum of building more and more gratitude and believing it and really setting it in your soul is to have a gratitude journal. And this is what something I've done every night where I've written down at least three points of something that I was great grateful for for that day. And it could be something as simple as I'm so grateful for my health. I'm so grateful that I was able to work today and, and work on building my business. And it can be something as major as I'm, you know, uh, I'm so grateful for having a brand new client who really wants to work with me. I'm so grateful for attracting these kinds of clients with me who are, Ha more than happy to have us on our team or you know be a part of our team and and help let us help them build their business and and so a gratitude journal it, 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 i can't emphasize enough how important it is how it really really does work because every night you're going to bed and your mind is all set on all of the things that you were grateful for that day and that, it's just been a yeah the last yeah. thing that you did so and you've got a book too. Share us about your book. I'm, I'm assuming you have it there. Yeah, this is a Law of Attraction Gratitude Journal. And it's uh, there's some information about how the Law of Attraction works in the front. But for each uh, week, there's a Law of Attraction. Whoops, 
tip. And then, and then if you're somebody that likes to be guided a bit more, I know, I know some people just like freehand, they just right away. But if you like to be guided, there's opportunities to say what you're grateful for, um, to set your attentions. And then this is one of my favorite parts. Um, I call it the ask, believe, receive part. You're talking about believing, right? There's belief, yeah. Yeah. So I like to say if you, I like to, I can put out there as a goal or whatever, but when I'm meditating, because that's a big part for me of expressing gratitude as well that when i'm sitting there I'm, I'm asking the universe to um you know to provide me with something but whatever it is or i always say or something better right because mm -hmm. i may not you know we may be not thinking big enough right be better in mind <laughs> but then also on the belief part um what it says here the evidence that I know that this is possible because evidence and proof are what allow you to believe it's possible. You know, mm -hmm. so look at all the um, awards that you've been uh, nominated for and the ones that you've won, right? I mean, yeah. once you've got one happening, it's like awesome, right? And the team and you post it and there's social media hype on it and you talk about it and people yeah. talk about it. And then, gee, you get another nomination, right? Well, that's the momentum that gets going. And I, guarantee our viewers that Susan Friesen did not say, oh, crap, <laughs> win, right? <laughs> oh, darn it, I won this year. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, it's it's all about saying, you know, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the people that, um, you know, nominated us. I mean, what an opportunity to stand on this stage and be recognized with other people that are, you know, amazing, awesome entrepreneurs as well. So everything is gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all the time. And, you know, setting that intention, as I say, it's just, it's part of my, I mean, it's like breathing to me, right? I don't, I don't ever not think about something I'm, I'm grateful for. And like you said, it does not matter uh, in your business what it is you're grateful for i mean be glad that you can afford a cell phone right, right. I mean, there's so much you can be grateful for it doesn't have to be the big huge wins it can be the little tiny baby steps yeah and and it all matters and it all becomes cumulative yeah right? because, because what i like to say to people is if you haven't had a gratitude muscle working you have a gratitude muscle but you haven't been using it right right so once as i say for me it's just natural it's just part of who i am now right that yeah. regardless of what goes on i mean i don't live in a perfect world if everything goes perfectly every single day and all of that and no. you know we we just have to step back and say all right well what are we grateful for or sometimes take a time out yeah right because if you're in a cranky mood or whatever don't pick up the phone right <laughs> probably not a good time to be calling. not a good time no <laughs> It. And I, I personally, I don't like to do things at night. I don't like to be looking at my emails at night and get something that upsets me. Oh, yeah. like, I'll just do it in the morning because whatever you, you take in your mind, I know there's lots of, you know, Bob Proctor, all the um, leading teachers on motivation talk about, you know, what goes in your subconscious. Jack Canfield talks a lot about it. You know, what are you going to put in your mind in that subconscious? Because that's what's going to come up the whole night long. Yeah, and, and that's why that gratitude journal is so important. And I wanted to, I'm going to share a link uh, for everybody to, uh, for your gratitude journal. So your journal is a week by week journal. So it takes everybody through the entire year. So this is a perfect time to pick up your journal. It's still the early in the year. And, and then every night you can have your other, another journal just to write in and, uh, and, and, you know, keep that momentum going each week. And then maybe every Sunday, night right in in Dana's journal as your gratitude journal so I would love to hear from our audience do you already have Dana's journal I know of a lot of people who have already used it because it's been around for a few years now so I would love to hear from you and and you know give a shout out as far as your experience using either Dana's journal or a gratitude journal of your own your own practice in in gratitude I, I think that Hearing from us is one thing, but hearing more and more from other people who have experienced it and, and can really share how gratitude has made a big difference in their business and in their life overall. I mean, we're talking specifically about business today, but man, it, it works in all areas of your life. So there was something that I wanted to uh, uh, touch up on is about the 
the the not the I guess jealousy might be part of it, but social media can play a real havoc on especially a brand new entrepreneur, right? You know, like me, so most people tend to just showcase the positive stuff. Like you were talking about me sharing about us being nominated for awards and winning and stuff like that. And so we tend to just talk about all the good stuff on social media. And I, I'm more of a private person. I don't share, you know, all of the crappy stuff that goes on. But trust me, there's a lot of crap that goes on in the life of an entrepreneur. Um, but to a brand new entrepreneur who is watching people like you and I, Dana, and other people who just, you know, tend to share the positive stuff, they might be getting a real false impression that, you know, being an entrepreneur and a business owner is all in la-la land. And it can really play havoc on their you know, on, on their self-talk, you know, there that comparison that goes on. So, uh, do you have any words of wisdom to say to anybody who's watching who feels that you know they're watching somebody and and just feel like they're they can't compare? Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's a good point. So I just say because I notice that all the time too, right? So just know that if if a person is an entrepreneur, they have their good days and they have their bad days no nobody goes through an entrepreneur's life like this yeah it just doesn't happen so you know just take a step back and also get together with people right because you know we've allowed social media to you know i hate to say it but it's one of the first I, my husband in the morning it, even before i'm out of the bedroom lights on he's he's you know looking at something on his phone it, it makes me crazy but you know, we, we spend, I think, a little bit too much time on that. But get out, talk to people, talk to other entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm like you, Sue. I, do, I, don't, I, I don't post things that are negative unless I'm asking for a solution. Right, of unless course. Saying, okay, this happened to me. But I will not get on a blog post that just goes on and on and on about, oh, poor me. And because, you know, I mean, you can just see like 300 episodes later of somebody that it's like seriously is, is this that important so you know just take a look at you know what's what reality is right because people typically just do post what you know positive things right mm -hmm. what, what's going on or they don't post at all but if you can get out with people whether it's networking or you know have a coffee with some of those people that um that you think are doing so well pick up the phone talk to them yeah. find out what's going on because what i found with most on most entrepreneurs they will meet you for a cup of coffee as long as they don't think you're trying to sell them something right or trying to get yeah. a whole bunch of free advice without yeah. having to pay for it one, yeah. one of the two yeah hey you know i noticed that you're you're really successful i'd love to have a coffee with you and just you know find out you know some things that are you know that you do that maybe you can share with me and don't you know even if you're in the same business i mean you know when i was in that home staging world lots of home stagers would get together with other home stagers and we'd have meetings and i always said to them you know it's this is all about collaboration in your business it's not about competition because there is no other you so why do you think somebody's competing with you they're not and somebody sue is going to hire you versus over somebody else that's in a similar business same with me so it's really it's that vibrational energy mm -hmm. that we give off so you know talk with people um i see catherine is uh <laughs> yeah i was going to say catherine catherine wilking is is a feng shui um uh, feng shui uh, consultant expert and law of attraction and gratitude is definitely up her her bandwagon up her alley. And I just wanted to share some of the things that she's been sharing here. Uh, she says the good days are balanced out with the not so good days. Reality is we keep on trucking. Exactly. You know, we can't let those bad days let us down. And then she offered some really great advice here. Ask your peers, they can reflect back good ideas. You know, so yeah, she's re emphasizing what you're talking about, Dana. And I couldn't agree more about, you know, having real conversations with real live people and, you know, asking them for their truth. And, uh, you know, it, 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 it 
I think we've gotten into this little cocoon world of, of in front of our computer and, uh, and you know, having live face to face conversations yeah. as is uh, almost a, a scary thought for some people, but man, it's so important. And that's the generation that you and I grew up on. <laughs> Social media exactly. didn't exist not lot long ago. Yeah, you know, there's Skype, there's FaceTime, there's you know all sorts of things, Zoom, all of that. But also, mm -hmm. you know, don't you know? It, it's just what Sue was saying that a lot of it. You know, I don't want to use the word fake news because it reminds me of a certain person, but yeah. <laughs> get my drift right that yeah you know, and i i honestly can say that i've been coaching people and i'll see a post or something and i'm thinking hmm that's that's like 360 degrees from the conversation that we just had or something right that yeah. you know really not uh yeah just not really not doing that but they want to put that impression out there and of course every entrepreneur wants to put out there oh i'm busy i've got so many clients you know that sort of thing but you know you have to put it all into perspective i think but like i said you know meet with the person talk with people people that are doing something similar in your business or a totally different business you know i used to love when i don't network so much anymore but when i first started out i mean i networked all the time and you're live you're in front you're talking to people and there's people that you just gravitate to and that you just feel darn good in their company yeah you know, they just they listen to you, they inspire you. Yeah. It's not necessarily that they're going to give you good advice, but you just feel better. Yeah. Because again, that's that vibrational energy is being raised and you feel better. It's like, yeah, wow, she just told me about, you know, all the, you know, the stuff that she just went through. And I'd never, you know, I'd never know that by looking at her, you know, she looks so successful or, or him, right? What, right? Whatever it is. But, you know, appearances can be, um misleading as well and same with social media right so you're better you know as Catherine's saying there too you know pick up the phone talk to people um you know honestly i have to admit i text way more than i pick up the phone now yeah. well yeah and it all depends on the medium that you're used to and and like we said there's nothing uh nothing beats having one-on-one -on -one conversations, but you know, sometimes people are too busy. So sometimes the text is all that you can do that with, which is great. But I think that at the end of the day, the point that we're trying to make is that nobody is in la la land all the time if they're running a business. Right. And so if you are struggling in your business right now, please know that this too shall pass yeah. and please implement some of these gratitude uh, tricks and strategies that Dana is sharing with us today. And I guarantee it that you will see a result. Things will start to turn around. It has to happen, it's the law. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And yeah. something else I like to say to people is, you know, celebrate, every success that you have yeah regardless of how small it is i don't i don't have the now but i always when i was coaching more out I, I always have pom-poms uh, and even when i used to do talks when people wanted to share something good that was going on i'd give them the pom-pom and people can go a little crazy when they get that pom -pom. but <laughs> you just get it the energy in the room changes and everything just feels so much better and yeah. so cele celebrate every success that you have you know yeah, from, from absolutely. the smallest to the biggest, because it's, as I say, it becomes, you know, cumulative one success on top of another. And all of a sudden you just start to feel better about yourself and about life and your business and your business. And and I was just reminded that I have one of your buttons, oh, Ask, I, believe I, and receive. Yeah. And this is right here, right beside me. So, uh, yeah, it just it just really works. And, and I think, too, like, you know, we're talking about working with clients, but I know for me, uh, I am so, so, so grateful for the team that I have who work with me, who help our clients. And, and there, and I think there's, there's also that component as well is not just expressing our gratitude to our clients by, you know, sending them, uh, you know, just thank you for being a client or thank you for the referral, you know, uh, sharing your gratitude for having clients, but also to the people who support you, whether it's an accountant or, or your marketer or whoever, or the team that, that you have, your employees. And, and uh, that makes a big difference as well. When you share with them how grateful you are 
to have them on your team and how much they are helping you with your business, then that the everybody's vibration rises and, and you'll get even better results and, um, and just more of a cumulative feeling of, of goodwill, right? Uh, and so I encourage you to also think in terms of expressing gratitude, not you, Dana, but you know, you the viewer. <laughs> Everybody is important that you come in contact with because you have no idea who they know or what piece of information they can bring to you. Because when you're asking, you don't always just have to ask for a thing, right? And remember that abundance isn't a thing. It may come in the form of money or clients, but it can be a sunny day. It could be a snowy day if you need a break, right? I mean, there's all sorts of ways that because it's our perception that makes something good or bad. So part of you know, learning about how to use that law of attraction and expressing gratitude is taking that step back. And while it can seem like a disaster, what's the good that could come out of this? And it may not show up right away. Uh, it may be a time that, you know, things just don't seem to make sense or you feel like you've got a big void. But if you keep expressing that gratitude and set that intention and ask, asking is super important. Yeah. A lot of people don't ask. And if you're not clear on what you want, the universe is kind of, well, they wanted this, but oh, today they want that. And then, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you've got to get clear, especially in business. Who's your client? Who's your target market? What's your message? What's your business? You know, who do you want to create in your team? Because on your team, if you think of it like a, a cog of gratitude, right, on that team, like each person, the more respect you have for them, the more cooperative they're going to be, the more grateful they're going to be. And, you know, that's what keeps business going. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. If you have a disgruntled employee, you know, because I know you've had some, Sue, and I've, mm -hmm. I've had people, uh, virtual assistants that I've had to let go. It's like, OK, we are not on the same page. And, you know, I want to hang on to them because, oh, they they know my system. You know, they know what the follow up is. And then, you know, mistake after mistake or. They just say something that's, you know, annoyed a client or something. It's like, yeah. okay. Not in alignment. Yeah. yeah. It, it's not it's not alignment. easy. Yeah. There's definitely, that's a whole nother conversation yeah. about building a team uh, because it isn't easy. You know, that that's one of the more bigger challenges that I face. And I'm so grateful <laughs> right now that I have an amazing team and, you know, we're just going to kick kick butt in January in, in 2020. It's going to be an amazing year because I've been so gratefully, uh, you know, bringing on new team members and having some that have been with me for almost 10 years now. And, you know, so I'm immensely grateful. And, and that is something that both Daniel and I uh, talk about a lot is how grateful we are. And so, you know, that's, that is one of the keys to our success. You know, we've been around for, it's getting close to 20 years as eVision Media and gratitude has been a cornerstone. But I think it would be a really good thing to think of is, is for us to encourage everybody to take on a gratitude challenge. And, and, you know, start the new year with the attitude of gratitude and take some of these tools that Dana has been talking about and grab her journal. The link is, in, is below uh, or, you know, just write out in your own journal and write down every single day what you are grateful for and do this for the month. Well, we're already partway into January. So do it for the rest of January and even into February to just make it take the challenge of doing this for every day. Um, um, it's so super easy. Write down one, two, three things that you're really grateful for for that day. And and then, uh, you know, either on February 1st or March 1st, when or however long you decide to do the challenge, really take note and, and observe what has changed, what has made a difference in your life and in your business by taking that challenge. I, I encourage you, the audience, to do that. And, and I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to do it as well because I think that's just – so important, right? You know, to make sure that we just keep that gratitude infused in our lives, just like you have, Dana. Um, so if you if you want to put that on your page, then I think people could just start writing in there what they're grateful for. Sure. Yeah. Why don't you do that? And and I'll take part in that as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll um, start a thread. Sure. When I wake up at night um, and something's on my mind, I I just kind of ask it to go away and I just say thank mm -hmm. you, thank you, 
thank you. And I just find that if I consistently do that, it just becomes a pattern with me that my mind, I mean, we've got a lot of stuff going on right now in the world that's, that is a bit scary and a bit frightening for people. And I just have to, you know, I, I because I do Reiki as well, I, I do send out a lot of, do a lot of prayer work for what's going on, but just thank you, thank you, thank you. And it can be for the simplest of things, you know, that I had a hot meal tonight, right? That I have a bed to sleep in. I mean, mm -hmm. the things that we have in this Western world that we live in, we are so, so, so fortunate. We don't have wars going on, especially in Canada. Yeah. You know, there's just so much to be grateful for. There is so much to be grateful for. Absolutely. So that's your challenge, people. Write down what you're grateful for. And Dan and I will make a commitment to doing that and uh, and encourage a conversation so that we can keep the positive vibe going and have nothing but positivity in our feed. And you can all feed off of that and and uh, and generate your own positivity and raise your vibration. I love that chart that you've got there, Dana, because it really it really visually tells us, you know, where where we can where we are where we're at and uh, and where we can go as far as uh, boosting that energy vibe and really, you know, making a positive difference in our lives and our business and in other people's lives, too. Yeah. So um, before you go, let's tell everybody how they can get a hold of you. Tell us a little bit more about you, Dan. I know that you're a law of attraction expert, but right now you're also focusing on something else that's really cool. And I think we should let everybody know about yeah, that. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I've, um, well, just before we go, I'll mention this. Uh, you can go to my website, danasmithers.com. Sue Friesen and the team have done all my branding. If you haven't noticed you know everything is the brand right uh, but you can get this as a download it's um, a PDF about 18 pages it's got a lot of exercises in it and just keeps in mind like what what are the tools there's some good tools in there for you to use um, so you can check that out yeah I yeah. over the last I guess 2017 I started doing um, emotion code energy healing for people and uh it's something that i just love to do and i'm i'm so so grateful because i have clients all over the world so you know as an entrepreneur you can kind of get stuck or you lose some confidence or whatever so emotion code is just all about releasing trapped emotions uh whether it's personal professional relationship finances career whatever and uh i do it and i also really love to do it with animals yeah, and I think it's really important that emotional code, emotion code, um, can really help a lot of entrepreneurs who are really, really struggling, and they don't know why. Maybe they are practicing the gratitude, and it's still not working for them. And that could be that there's really some deep seated blocks that are going on. So I encourage you, the viewer, to contact Dana if if you feel that you know there's more going on here than just me not practicing gratitude. Um, and uh, and she can do an emotion code um, um, a session on you and and help out. So I listed your website URL in the comment section. And yes, please go and sign up for Dana's uh, free uh, report as well because it's very informative and you know it'll just help with that practice, that daily practice of gratitude. So do you have any other parting words of wisdom for our viewers, Dana? I think just you know. If you're not used to expressing gratitude, then maybe put, you know, a sticky or something by you that, you know, just remind you of that. I'm going to post, I, I had some uh, pins like the one you've got, Sue, I used to give them out when I was talking, but there's one that's uh, have an attitude of gratitude. I'll just post a few of those in on your page. And if people want to download that, you know, they can just put it up and, you know, just as a little reminder. Right. Yeah. That, okay. What, what, okay. What's one thing you can say you're thankful for? Well, the day's over. <laughs> <laughs> I, I made it through alive. <laughs> I don't care. Right. It doesn't matter because that's just going to make you feel better. But you know, when you, when you focus on more positive things in your life, you're just going to attract more of those. You're going to feel better. And you're also going to have your belief system that things are possible is going to be higher and just more achievable when you believe, right? Yeah. yeah, fantastic. Perfect way to conclude our Tea Time Tip Show. Thank you again so much, Dana, for coming back. So our Tea Time Tip Show, the live show is every second Wednesday at 2 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Eastern time. I encourage you to come and join us. Every two weeks, I talk about um, 
something that will help you with your business and will keep up with that positiveness. And, uh, you know, the, the doing part is what Dana was talking about earlier. It's not just thinking and believing, but you also have to take action and do. And, and that's what I do in these tea time tips. I share with you some tips and strategies on health how to help market your business. So that's it for today's show. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Dana. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye for now. I really appreciate uh, being on here again as well. Thank you.